Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for being here. Today we'll do a planner in InDesign. You can use your own brand color if you want and if you're going to publish this on KDP, just use black or gray. You're the designer here. Oh, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by, but don't be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. All right, let's get to it. So here my size, my document size is 11 by 8.5 inches and I have 0.3 margins all around. And just click on create. And now once you're here, we need to have um, guides. So everything is in place. So just go to layout and create guides. And then enter four for columns and under rows, just enter three. So we have four columns and three rows. And just make sure your fit guides to margins and not page and the gutter is the space where uh, in between columns so it's up to you how big or small the space is okay so now here we have the columns and uh, the rows guides all right so go to rectangle tool and just create a rectangle on the right side of your page and for the color just choose whatever color you have if you have a brand color just create a new color over here and then just use it and now use the rectangle tool again to create a small rectangle just like this and the color is all up to you and for the text just click on the text tool and then type the text and you can change the colors and the font face and the size anything so i'm using poppins which i really like Okay, now go to line and create a line and just make sure that you're holding the shift key on your keyboard so that you have a straight line. And if it's on top of all the other elements, just right click and then arrange send to back. And then group the elements and Hold your Alt or Option key and then drag that to wherever you want it. Then this is how you duplicate uh, things. It's easier than uh, doing the Command or Control C and Command and Control V. It's the same, but it's this one's easier. You just hold the Alt key and then drag whatever element that you want to duplicate or copy. And do this a few more times for the other days of the week and change the text. Alright, so now that you're done with that, you can hit W on your keyboard to preview everything without the lines and uh, the other things over there. Now I were just drawing line in between all these days of the week. And I'm changing the thickness to a little bit um, thinner because I don't want it really thick. And again, I'm just holding Alt key and then dragging it. Yes, please hit the subscribe and like button. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much. So now click on the text tool again and type the week. And then you can change it to whatever script or calligraphy font that you have. Or you can also use whatever font that you like. It's all up to you. So now I'm just using all these simple elements or tools that InDesign have and it's just so easy. If you have something like this, then, you know, just click on like this one, the rectangle tool, because I want something like it where I can put the date or the week. So I just create a rectangle, change the fill background to nothing or none and then just have an outline color and 
also I just copied the some of the text there and then change it to week of and change the entire text or the whole text box the fill color to white so that I'll have a like a border and it will look like this now I'm creating a table here because I would love to have three boxes so it's easier to create a table than creating a rectangle or using the rectangle tool and then create all those rectangles but this one you just create three rows and then that's it just change the border to nothing and the lines in between it to white and change the whole color or fill the, co the table with um, whatever color you already have and this would be my top three priorities of the week And just make sure that everything is aligned or centered yeah so I just copied the week title and then a little bit smaller and then change it to habits here I will use the table again so go to table and then create table and then you just enter the number of rows that you want then I'm just changing this to dotted and I don't want any borders so I'm deleting all the borders right now and I'm going to use the ellipse tool to create a tiny tiny circle seven of them and I'm just going to group them later and then duplicate it and just make sure that they're all aligned and spaced properly so just go to align for your align tool and then just use a distribute spacing and it will distribute everything for you equally and if you can't find the align it's actually in the window window menu and object and layout there you go you have your weekly planner so you can duplicate this as many times as you want or you can also make this um, like a mon monochrome for you know KDP if you want to upload this to KDP And that's it, easy peasy. So if you haven't liked this video yet, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so because I have lots more great things coming up. Other than that, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.